And this is a shift. After much resistance, now Turkey is agreeing to help us in the fight against ISIS. Journalist Kevin Ozebek is in Istanbul. Kevin, uh, what has the United States and Turkey agreed to? Well, according to some local media outlets here, uh, Turkish media is reporting that Turkey may actually allow U.S. pilots to take off from three bases. All three of these bases are very close to the Syrian border. In fact, one is just about 60 miles from the Syrian border. This, of course, will allow U.S. fighter pilots to really rapidly reach ISIS targets. And Greta, this has been a week of just huge and fast-moving developments here in Turkey. It all started on Monday when a suicide bomber detonated and killed 32 people. These 32 people were actually about to go into Syria and deliver aid to a battered, battered Syrian city. We're talking about the Syrian city of Kobani. That was followed by a big presence of Turkish troops along Along the Turkish-Syrian border, reinforcements were brought in, and then there was basically a scuffle between ISIS militants and those Turkish troops. That led to one Turkish soldier being killed. Two others were wounded. Fast forward to Friday morning and through the overnight hours, we saw about a thousand Turkish police officers conducting this massive raid. And in this raid, nearly 300 suspected militants were detained and questioned. And also Friday morning, three Turkish F-16 fighter aircraft took to the sky and hit a multitude of ISIS targets. And now local media is reporting that once again, those F-16 aircraft went back into the air and hit additional ISIS targets. So lots happening this week and really a significant change here. But according to the Turkish government, they say ISIS has been an enemy all along. And in fact, they are citing that they have arrested hundreds of suspected ISIS militants in the past few months. And even some Turkish officials believe, Greta, that that attack on Monday, that suicide attack, was ISIS responding to Turkey starting to crack down months ago. You know, it's interesting, Kevin. I mean, that's a big deal that we're going to be using their bases because it was that our, our planes having to fly about 1,200 miles to a target. Now it's like, you know, 200 miles to a target or even 60 miles to a target to get ISIS. So this will amp up, I assume, that, uh, you, know, the, our, you know, our activity from the air make it a lot easier. Well, Greta, the U.S has been using these bases before. Turkey was allowing drones to be flown from this uh, from these bases. But this is quite a game changer now to have U.S. pilots manning aircraft from these bases. And as I mentioned, some of these bases are just a few dozen miles from the Syrian border. So this really could change the whole dynamic of this Syrian civil war and this fight against ISIS. Um, here in Turkey, even though it's being kind of perceived that Turkey's now really cracking down, you're not going to find much uh, support for ISIS here in Istanbul and throughout mm -hmm. this country. And many analysts will tell you that when it comes to the people who are actually on the ground fighting for ISIS, just a very small percentage of them are Turkish. So uh, many people here in Turkey actually wanted to see their government really crack down on ISIS and prevent the stop in the flow of militants crossing uh, back and forth between the border. Kevin, thank you.